Welcome back to Making a Difference. We are already in our final segment for today. But don't worry, we're not just done yet. So if you're just tuning in now, hello and welcome to Making a Difference. Again, my name is Erica Misson, and with me today is Amina from Kids Who Farm, a social startup and advocacy initiative that spreads awareness and finds food security solutions by empowering the youth to help out in terms of farming and agriculture. So if you were with us before the break, Amina shared a lot of their projects and uh, they, they became very, very successful and and they're very, very sustainable. That's what we need now uh, nowadays, especially that we're going through um, a pandemic. We, we need to learn how to be sustainable. So um, at the beginning of the show, I actually... Um, have this question of the day. So again, uh, as I mentioned, um, if you want your comments to be featured on the show, comment your answers down below and I will read them at the end of the show. So that's just in a few more minutes. The, and the question of the, the day is, can we flash that please question of the day is, what do you do to help take care of our environment? There you go. That is the question. What do you do to help take care of our environment? So it can be uh, an essay if you want. I don't mind reading it. It can just be a simple paragraph. But I just want to know your thoughts. What do you do to help take care of our environment? Now, in the last segment, usually I like to go a bit more personal with my guests and I'd like to call back Amina. Again, she is part of the core team of Kids Who Farm and also the president of Youth for a Food Secure Future. Hi Amina, okay, so kamusta ka naman after presenting <laughs> or talking about the Kids Who Farm? Alam mo, very energetic to si Amina. I love it, I love the energy. Good vibe style today. But how are you? How are you naman? <laughs> I, I feel ano, I feel like I want to talk more. Wow, Char, <laughs> tama na. <laughs> Go ahead. I mean, this is this is um another. I I this is why I go more personal with my guests towards the last part of the segment where they could just really release what they want to say and share their thoughts. No, so there was actually a question here pala a while ago. Um, also by Jaime. A very simple question lang. How can we join the organization? Um, I know there are viewers kasi who um, are interested or maybe they want to help out. So, uh, are you guys accepting volunteers? Can we join? Yeah. Yeah. So, hi, hi, my, um, good afternoon. So, um, I, I'd like to answer your question. So, I think you know the question, the answer, but you just keep on asking. Oh. <laughs> Friend, what is si Jaime? Ikaw, ha? Ganun. So, um, actually, um, the Youth for a Food Secure Future is really open to a lot of young people who really wanted to venture the food security, um, who really had to, to venture and address food security solutions. So um, if you really wanted to become part of our organization, you can actually send us an email at kidsofarm at gmail.com. You can also send us a message via our Facebook page at kids to farm and in our um, Instagram. We're, we're all over the place, you know, because, you know, in social media, you can just um, send us a message and all if you have the intention to um, to um, to volunteer to become part of our organization. We need more hands. We need more minds. We need more mouths to speak, you know, to yeah. spread the word to the people. Okay, there you go. So again, just reach out to them via email. Jaime, I hope that answers your question. But according to Amina, you're ready. No? <laughs> the answer to friends are very supportive kahit alam na nila yung sagot. Okay, so, um, ayan. I have a question for you, actually, Amina. Um, since you're very, very involved with the organization with kids who farm and your your passion is there your heart is there how do you think the how has this organization how has kids who farm help you make a difference in in your life uh, how do you think it has helped you make make a difference yeah it, it made difference in a lot of aspects for me because you know, as an advocate, I believe that uh, the journey or the path through our advocacy is always a learning process. So we don't become like doctors of our advocacy, like 
Okay, oh, doctor in a book. <laughs> Parang, there is always a room for learning in 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 advocacy in our advocacies. And before Kids Who Farm, kasi, I really knew less. I was an environmental advocate in general, but specifically I was on marine conservation projects when I was 16 years old. I was doing coral coral researches for uh, researches for corals or alternative coral reefs and such. And also I was doing hydroponics and aquaponics um researches, but um, I really didn't know much more about farming because I was geared on specific studies lang talaga. But when I when I when I saw kids to farm, it really helped me learn a lot of concepts. Because parang as we were doing sessions, I was also learning, and I believe that what that one part or one vital part of being in an organization is to actually learn. And kids to farm helped me to actually learn that. It also helped me to become grounded to communities. Parang it it pushed me out there to learn more about their stories, um why why they're here, and then what frustrates them and such. Parang um kids to farm became an avenue for me to reach out to the communities and it also became a platform for me to learn a lot of things that i don't know more about so it enabled me to appreciate farming much more because i'm also a guilty person i really didn't want to venture farming before i really didn't i, I really thought that farming is a, is a dirty job it's always I, I i don't want to be under the sun but because of kids to farm it all changed right now it, it enabled me to empathize with people it enabled me to empower more communities and inspire more young people mm -hmm. right i love that i love it um because yeah you mentioned yeah, that that wasn't your original advocacy i know i asked you this a while ago but what if this was your personal advocacy but then now you just you know, it, it opened your eyes, it opened your it opened more doors for you. So it's good to know. It's good to know that kids who farm actually helped you um with all of this. And um before I actually let you go, I know you've been seeing the question of the day. So I will also ask you the question of the day. <laughs> Very simple. Lang. Um and that is what do you do to help take care of our environment? Oh yeah, so that's really <laughs> that's really a nice question. <laughs> yeah, and so um, I mean, so as a kid to farm, like as a kid to kid to farm core member, um, we believe that urban container farming, you know, reduces carbon footprint. Because um, during um the transportation of foods, there are carbon emissions during the transportation of food, you know, vegetables and fruits from other regions or countries. And what is more is that in urban container farming or urban agriculture, um, it provides a wholesome environmental regeneration by improving the air and you know air water quality and protecting our urban ecological biodiversity. So in my personal end, um, I, I started some advocacy when I was still very young, but I started on peace advocacy. And then I tried to stop, but it didn't, it, it, I can't really stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm twenty I'm twenty one right now, but I'm still doing it. Um, I believe because uh, I started to piece advocacy, but I the one of the petals or like the six petals of peace is actually living in harmony with the earth. And then when because I was an exchange student to the United States before, and then when I came back, yeah, I I was trained on environmental and peace building um peace building, and then when I came back, I found myself doing community projects for. Uh, marine wildlife protection. So when I was seventeen, I launched my very uh, my first, my very first community project. I think that was one of the best milestones in my life because I, I I promised that before eighteen, parang I want to do something for the community. And then boom, here it comes. Parang I, I went to a, so right. It, but for me, it's not just more about doing community projects, environmental projects. It's more about I think it's more about um, the personal our personal panata sa ating sarili na um, we start reducing our waste. So I start reducing my waste by actually I'm um, having um, tumblers with me. I, I I I don't really want to venture on using plastic bottles. Um, I make it sure that um, I use um, sustainable products and then I also try to use um, reduce I, I refuse the straw. You know, I refuse the straw and such that. And then I also start to um, I also started to do or you know grow my own food because you know it reduces carbon emissions and such. I also I also want to walk. I, I like walking like that. I like walking, and also aside from that, I also give environmental talks. We call it the green talks. Ganon kasi talk to me, yeah, di ba? Yeah, I, I give environmental conservation talks, 
and empower young um, eco warriors na gusto mag ano, gusto mag empower because there are a lot of young leaders out there na parang sabi ate parang uh, I became a I, I became um uh, I became uh, I became um an environmental advocate because of you I joined your programs and such that ganyan. so it, it's really inspiring it's one of the most fulfilling um things about being an environmental advocate is that learning that young people like younger than you are actually joining you in the journey because they became inspired because like, you know in person i'm small i'm so small <laughs> ganyan, <laughs> saying that i'm less than five feet and then people are saying like, they won't do anything and then they become inspired because i'm i'm a small kid and then i can just do you know stuff <laughs> but no, yeah just if you're below five feet that doesn't mean you can't do anything right yeah. I'm gonna make bigger waves. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. You have big dreams, girl. You're on yeah. the way. Since you were a while ago, I'm curious, what plants do you grow? I, um, what, what, food, sorry, what food do you grow? I started growing my tomatoes, but what happened was that, um, parang ano siya, nilanggam siya. Parang there were ants all over. Because, because they were carrying the seeds. Ganun. So it's really hard to start. Parang ganun, parang, you know. The tomatoes, okay. yeah, because the family is always using tomatoes. So I think, I just got the tomatoes. Yeah, but it's really hard. Right? If you think that planting from farming is like, oh my god, you just planted, it just grows. But no, the plants, the ants are always there. But oh, no, please don't get that. But at least, I mean, that's a good start. But you, you, you mentioned it a while ago, you know, you, you learn. You learn mm-hmm. as you as you go by. Okay, I just want to read out a, a few comments by, well, there's one here by NNM. Uh, she says, congratulations. It is nice to know the support and collaboration of everyone for the success of this project. Uh, keep up the good work and encouragement to young generation. Man. And may comment si Jaime. Um, comment niya. Interesting with farming is we can anchor different advocacies uh, with it like for us in our organization, we are able to anchor mental health and peace advocacy with farming, bridging marginalized community with youth leaders from the central breaking barriers with farming. That was, he goes on to say, now we are planning to, uh, ayan, oh, she gets really angry. Yeah, I saw that comment also. <laughs> yes, really. Okay, what I mean, she does have a point. Oh, there, there you go. Always encouraging us to bring to litter. Tumblers. I mean, it's for the earth. It's for the earth, Jaime. <laughs> Amina's just prepared, but there. He ends with, now we are planning to, um, what's this? And create uh, religion with farming also. Okay, so yeah, let's... Yeah, because we've been working together, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been working with a series of projects. It's before. from another... Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's from another org. It's a mental yes. health organization. We go to grassroots community, right? We adopt the community and then we teach them different aspects. As an as a nursing student, I get to use what I what I what I do. I get to um, teach them health and sanitation like that. And then he teaches more of the religious aspects and moral uh, religious and moral stories to the children like that. Nice. So yeah, right now we're planning to actually um establish community food gardens in the area. It's it's a coastal community. So we wanted them to grow their own food too. Okay. But still, this it's on a process. Yeah. Yes, well, it's in uh-huh. the manga. Oh, nice, nice. Good Good luck with that, Jaime and Amina. <laughs> I hope I get to see photos of that. I'll, I'll yeah. add to Facebook. So, uh, <laughs> photos but there you go again this is amina from kids who farm do you have anything else you want to say or if you want to promote anything maybe mga upcoming projects see kids who farm or you can blast their social media or mag shout out ka to anyone <laughs> go ahead. yeah so so hi everyone again this is amina and i'm from kids who farm so um i just hope that you will continue yeah, to help us mainstream that. farming and making farming fun and easy through sharing um you can you can actually do something by sharing our posts having social media platforms because you know digital volunteerism is the new thing right now not just because you're there just sitting there you cannot do anything but you can actually you know um share the word also to all the people um, as we as we venture or as we um establish our community food gardens we also need um um used plastic cups um used um 
mga plastic bottles and stuff, you can actually donate it to, to us. Actually, I just wanted to um give a shout out to one of the um uh, one of uh, the coffee sh coffee shops here in Zamboanga City because they donated their unused cups um to us because they they um they actually um undergone um rebranding so their cups already cannot be used already because they already have a new logo and stuff. So they donated like hundreds of cups to us to be used to establish the community food garden. So shout out to Coffee R and also to other coffee shops there who wanted to share um, their unused cups. You may share them to us. And also to individuals who have a lot of, you know, waste right there, plastic, plastic cups, plastic bottles, you can share it to us. Just send us a message. And also, um, right now what we can do is that we had just have to change our perspective you know we just have to make to 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 see farming in another lens we have to see that farming is actually fun and easy yeah so that's it that's my word for the youth thank you so much amina for coming on making a difference and sharing yeah. kids who farm and i hope you're doing well and i hope you stay safe and hopefully we could see each other in the future um baka go to Sambuanga or you might come here to manila that would be great but take care always amina and thank you thank you so much for being on making a difference bye amina yeah. thank you Papa. bye bye everyone all right so that was amina from kids who farm so again kids who farm is a social startup um, and of course, uh, an organization where they spread awareness and they find food security solutions. So they're based in Zamboanga, but eventually they want to branch out uh, here in the Philippines. So in the beginning of the show, I asked the question to the viewers and the question of the day is actually, what do you do to help take care of the environment, of our environment? And there are a couple of um, answers here. I'm looking at Tabawan Bongao, saving the environment, uh, segregate everyday household garbage, recyclables, and biodegradables, and kitchen bathroom waste. Okay, so um, in terms of segregating the household garbage. And we also have from Christian Clemente. Hi, Christian. Thank you for watching. I can help the environment by using reusable bags, recycle, save electricity and water, use a bike for traveling. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, Filipinos now are using bikes to go to work and that, that's actually really, really great. And I just want to give a shout out. Um, Sir Charlie was here a while ago. Hi, Sir Charlie. How are you? I hope you're doing well. He is also, well, he's the head of, there we go. He's the head of uh, V81 Radio South Manila, uh, My one of my mentors. And he also has his own show. That's Napalm. So that's tomorrow. Uh, 11, if I'm not mistaken. But if you were watching my commercials, Napalm was there most of the time, so he hosts that together with Sir Fards. Then I want to say hi also to Jose Angelo de la Cruz, who was watching from Makati. And I'm not sure if you're still here, Dane Maori. Dane was actually one of my guests here on Making a Difference a couple of episodes back. That, that's been a while, actually. I think last year, Pasina Dane. I can't remember if it was season one or season two. But hello. Uh, hi, Dane. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're staying safe. So that's about it. That's it for today's episode. Uh, and again, uh, it's Zero Waste Month, everyone, the whole of January. I hope you're all doing well and you're, you're staying safe. Again, we're still going through this pandemic together so don't forget to wear your face mask and your face shields and practice social distancing when you go out and of course v81 radio we have so much more shows for every weekend we're jam-packed with shows and not only here in v in manila but we also have shows in v81 radio los angeles and we are going to open in Hong Kong and in Bacolod this year. So watch out for that. If you want to watch more shows, don't forget to check out V81 Radio on Facebook and on YouTube. And of course, if you want to watch my shows on Making a, Dif uh, uh, yeah, my, making a Difference, you can check out Facebook and V81 Radio's YouTube channel. And please don't forget to follow Making a Difference on Facebook. We're also on Instagram. And if you want to follow me as well, I'm going to plug my personal Instagram. You can follow me on my Instagram. That's underscore Erica Misson. So that's it again for today's episode. I hope you learned a lot from Kids Who Farm, from Amina 
And I hope you all enjoyed the conversation as much as I did. I will see you all here next week, same time, same place. Bye, everyone.